moves! Holy crap! Comparing my 1992 twin turbo 300ZX to this 2009 370Z, 2011 370Z Nismo edition. <laughs> She looks so good! Ah, I love her! Ah. <laughs> Seabass, you need to chill out, bro! But then again, let's just get to the review. So first let's start talking about the 300. This is like I said a twin turbo edition from 1992. Then when this car first came out it was around $40,000. It is equipped with a VG30 DETT 3.0 liter twin turbo and they're like back there talking 300 horsepower and 283 pound feet of torque which surprisingly well i'll get to that later it also comes equipped with a five speed manual transmission and this is the t-top version which back then there was a t-top a two plus two slick top a uh, normal two plus zero slick top and na and twin turbo this one is a two plus zero twin turbo with the what do you call it t-top just single-handedly the coolest thing ever and it comes out put it back down <laughs> all right so this is jose's 2011 nismo edition which you bought with how many miles uh 51 and now it has 100 and he said it runs perfect, so that just shows how strong this engine is. This comes with the VQ37 VHR, right? VHR. And it's the same thing. all these engines are basically the same thing. Like this is a Nismo, there's my base model, but literally this, it's the exact same thing. The only difference between the Nismo and the base model is mainly suspension. Comes with front and rear dampeners, right? Yeah. Uh, performance dampeners. Does it come with different springs, I think? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be different springs and shocks. Yeah. Same thing with the, well, the whole suspension setup is supposed to be stiff. Yeah, it's way. mainly suspension. It comes with different springs and shocks and also rear dampener systems. How you can really tell it's a Nismo compared to a base model is the front and rear bumpers. They're just much more aerodynamic and just, it looks like a freaking race car compared to the base model. Here we can see he has a sick subwoofer. Subwoofer. Good job. That's weighing me down, man. <laughs> It comes with Nismo seats. These seats are basically the same as the, as the uh, base model, but the new Nismos actually have really nice Recaro seats that aren't in the normal base model, which cost like two grand, so very overpriced. What is it? The V2s don't have that anymore. And the best part about these version one Nismos, you get a plaque. Oh, I can't see. Whatever. Which you have 375. Congrats. A 504 for 2011. Oh, so they only came out with 500 and something. 504 for 2011. They have a certain amount. It'll tell you okay. on, uh, on the year. There. So much more rare. And this went for around 40, 45,000. Yeah. Around there. MSRP. And mods, you basically have intakes, upper plenum. Uh, test pipes and that. Test pipes and that's, that's, it. that's pretty much it. Which you guys might have seen or heard before from my previous videos. And these 370Zs, unlike the 300, come with a six-speed manual. Anyways, like like one grand, dude. I'm not going to spend one grand on headers. And then you get what, like 10 Small talk about how frustrating and expensive this car is for like literally no horsepower. So this is a 2009 base model, which looks nothing like a base model, but it's a trust, sport. Trust. You got the big brakes on. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Base model. <laughs> okay. Good. Good call. Good call. With sport and navigation, you get uh, bigger brakes that you would get on the Nismo. The greatest thing ever invented, which is the Synco ref match right there. Yeah as well as with the navigation i can see where i'm going if i get lost seats are just regular seats as you can see these look the same as the nismo except these are um <laughs> what is that 
<laughs> Mods that I have done to mine is I have the still Gen 3s, same intakes he does. I do not have an upper plenum. I have some catch cans. I have a good amount of mods. I made a whole video like a couple days ago talking about the mods. If you don't, so if you want to watch that up here. Does the Nismo and the base have the same 0 to 60? I think so, right? I think the Nismo might have a s slower. I'm going to put a graph right here. We're not too sure on that. We don't want to like, we don't want to say something that isn't right. I'm going to put it up here. And then the 300 yeah. ZX 0 to 60 here. I think they're like similar, bro. I don't know why. Yeah, the Nismo is much better in the corners. Uh, stiffer suspension. Stiffer suspension, so yeah. People say they can't live with it. I do. I love it. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, I, I, I drove it and it wasn't like, oh my gosh, it's so stiff. I can't. But yours yeah. isn't stock either. Yeah, oh, that's true. That's true. And on like the Nismo, the base model is thirty thousand. You can get it brand new for thirty thousand dollars. Would I get it brand new for thirty thousand dollars? No, I wouldn't. This model has three thirty-two stock horsepower. Nismo has three fifty stock horsepower. So, not a big difference, but maybe because the. Uh, I don't know actually, how did they get it? I think the tune is I think they said the tune. Oh yeah, it has a better exhaust. It has a little bit. HKS. HKS exhaust, yeah. yeah. It has a little bit. The stock intakes are better. It's the same intakes. Yeah. I got you see a resemblance? Throughout no. the years? Huh? <laughs> Not for this one, no. Really? Not for the Yo. 300. The 300 is like the oddball out of it. Nah, bro, oh, no, I, from what I heard when line. they were making, when designing the 370, they took like the top body line from the 300 and kind of put it over there. Bro, look. They don't even resemble. Well, I mean, the rear, yeah. <laughs> but like the side view, I don't know. What do you think, Seabus? Do you see a resemblance or not? I'd be like, this is the sleeper. roof a tiny bit? Yeah, like the bot, like the top the part. Because I mean, if you look at the tail lights, nothing. Really Headlights, nothing. But like the body line, sort of. They both have like very just clean. Similarities with a 240 or a 260. As far as the way it comes, it drops it's down. 260. 240? No. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Have you seen them next to each other, bro? They look sick. No, really? Kind of kinda related. No, they both have Zs. They both, both, so both kind of look the same. They both, they both have, have four wheels. wheels. They're cars. They have a Z in their name. These are all manual. They're all manual. They have a three and a zero they're in their name as well. They're all V6. They all start with a three point. <laughs> Do I feel like Zs have just went downhill with the 370 compared to the uh, 300? Because back then, bro, this car was insane. <laughs> This car was insane when it first came out, like Plus twin turbo headlights. 3.0, Diablo headlights. No, 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 other way around. The Di Diablo. Oh, the dude, you're right. You're right. Diablo. Yes, that's actually true, right? And then the 370s is just like they haven't done anything for like 10 years. Oh my god, it has been 10 years. Bro, it's been like almost 11 years, I think. And dude, nothing. No, technically 11 because you can go get a 2020. Man. Wait, what? They're copying Subaru. Nissan's buying Subaru? No, they're copying, copying it. Like oh, copying! I think they well, said I copying. It's a little suspicious that Subaru is finally redoing the STI and WRX, and then so is Nissan. Who's that? Hopefully, they do something. Because I mean, back then they were like up here. Now they don't even do anything on the GTR or the 370 or Jose. Like they're just living us so far. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing, they're both still rear wheel drive, which thank God. Because imagine a Z that's front wheel drive. How awkward would that be? Now let's go drifting! I can't, I have a 370 front wheel drive. Yeah. After that. Honestly, if this 300 keeps up even a slight in the, even in the slightest B with any one of theirs, when I'm stock tuned, stock ECU, 7 PSI, I'm gonna be very impressed and I'm gonna be really pissed off at Nissan because why is the car from 92 beating a car for or keeping up with a car from 09 and just like the newest Z? I cannot believe I actually sort of kept up, dude. This car moves! Holy crap! Bro, this car moves. I know. 
Bro, I can't, I can't believe it actually kept up. Oh, I know, I saw him. Bro, this car is so sick. <laughs> but then I'm in third, and I'm like, I'm done. I'm not. I'm done. That's that's good enough.